This is IBG News Golden, our podcast news read by Mirai. News brought to you by Hyderabad based XTRM Waste Technologies. A champion in waste to energy solution provider for eco friendly municipal waste management. Cabinet approves National Green Hydrogen Mission. The mission aims to make India a global hub for the production, utilization, and export of green hydrogen and its derivatives. The mission will help India become energy independent and the decarbonization of major sectors of the economy. By PIB Delhi. The Union Cabinet, chaired by the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, has approved National Green Hydrogen Mission. The initial outlay for the mission will be 19,744 crore rupees, including an outlay of 17,490 crore rupees for the site program, 1,466 crore rupees for pilot projects, 400 crore rupees for Randy and ours. 388 crores towards other mission components. MNRE will formulate the scheme guidelines for the implementation of the respective components. The mission will result in the following likely outcomes by 2030. Development of green hydrogen production capacity of at least 5 mmt million metric ton per annum with an associated renewable energy capacity addition of about 125 gigawatts in the country. Over hours, 8 lakh crore in total investments. Creation of over 6 lakh jobs. The cumulative reduction in fossil fuel imports is over hours. 1 lakh crore. Abatement of nearly 50 mmt of annual greenhouse gas emissions. The mission will have wide-ranging benefits the creation of export opportunities for green hydrogen and its derivatives, decarbonization of industrial, mobility, and energy sectors, reduction in dependence on imported fossil fuels and feedstock, development of indigenous manufacturing capabilities, creation of employment opportunities, and development of cutting-edge technologies. India's green hydrogen production capacity is likely to reach at least 5 mmt per annum, with an associated renewable energy capacity addition of about 125 gigawatts. The targets by 2030 are likely to bring in over hours. 8 lakh crore investments and create over 6 lakh jobs. Nearly 50 mmt per annum of CO2 emissions are expected to be averted by 2030. The mission will facilitate demand creation, production, utilization, and export of green hydrogen. Under the strategic interventions for green hydrogen transition program, site to distinct financial incentive mechanisms targeting domestic manufacturing of electrolyzers and production of green hydrogen will be provided under the mission. The mission will also support pilot projects in emerging end use sectors and production pathways. Regions capable of supporting large-scale production and or utilization of hydrogen will be identified and developed as green hydrogen hubs. An enabling policy framework will be developed to support the establishment of the green hydrogen ecosystem. A robust standards and regulations framework will be also developed. Further, a public-private partnership framework for RANVI, Strategic Hydrogen Innovation Partnership SHIP, will be facilitated under the mission. RANVI projects will be goal-oriented, time-bound, and suitably scaled up to develop globally competitive technologies. A coordinated skill development program will also be undertaken under the mission. All concerned ministries, departments, agencies, and institutions of the central and state governments will undertake focused and coordinated steps to ensure successful achievement of the mission objectives. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy will be responsible for the overall coordination and implementation of the mission. This is IBG News Golden Hour Podcast News read by Arthur. News brought to you by the South Asian Institute for Advanced Research and Development Kolkata, Shiliguri, and others for quality GIS education. European Green Deal, analysis on main drivers of food security in the EU and worldwide. Today, the Commission published an analysis by Commission services on the main drivers affecting food security. 
It looks at the effects on food security of drivers such as climate change, environmental degradation, the economic consequences of COVID-19, and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Based on the latest scientific evidence, this analysis identifies different types of key drivers, biophysical and environmental, research, innovation, and technology, economy and market, food supply chain performance, political and institutional, socio-cultural, and demographic drivers. The analysis also looks at short and long-term horizons, and the linkages between them. Stakeholder views were collected through specific consultations and were taken into account in the analysis. The availability of food is not at stake in Europe today. The affordability of food is however a growing concern for an increasing number of low-income households. Availability, affordability, utilization, and stability cannot be taken for granted. Some of the drivers may become risks for food security and expose vulnerabilities in our food system, if not properly addressed. The EU has launched many initiatives to secure a sustainable, inclusive, and resilient food system with a realistic timeline and necessary support instruments. This is IBG News Golden Hour podcast news read by Arthur. News brought to you by the South Asian Institute for Advanced Research and Development Kolkata, Shiliguri, and others for quality GIS education. Microsoft launches the FY22 India Impact Summary. Reports how Microsoft is supporting inclusive economic growth, advancing fundamental rights, creating a sustainable future, and earning trust, as it brings its mission and purpose to life in India. New Delhi, January 4, 2023, Microsoft launched the FY22 India Impact Summary, a comprehensive annual report sharing progress against Microsoft's environmental, social, and governance, ESG, efforts across the company and our ecosystem. Besides sharing a summary of the impact of Microsoft's work, this report shares what the company is learning along the way as it strives to scale its impact and empower others to achieve more. In the foreword to the FY22 India Impact Summary, Anant Maheshwari, President, Microsoft India, said, Our population scale platforms are creating new benchmarks for how countries can harness the power of digital technology for the public good. With democratized access to data, organizations are recognizing data as an asset class, and leveraging analytical and predictive power to use this data for good. Our diversity presents unique growth opportunities as we build templates of innovation for the planet. India is truly on the path to becoming the data capital of the planet. Working steadfastly towards its mission of empowering every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more, Microsoft believes that it must create a more inclusive, equitable, sustainable, and trusted future for everyone. The report spans four broad areas contributing to the progress in India by spotlighting stories of impact. Some of these are Support inclusive economic growth, Microsoft believes that economic growth should be inclusive, for every person, organization, community, and country. One such example of Microsoft's commitment here is the Global Skills Initiative, through which Microsoft engaged over 5.2M learners with digital skills content to help them pursue in-demand roles in an increasingly digital economy. Advanced Fundamental Rights From protecting human rights to addressing digital inequity, Microsoft supports the fundamental rights of all people. For example, through Microsoft's Airband initiative, internet service provider Air Jaldi extended connectivity to over 29 million people in nine Indian states and 50 districts in rural and semi-urban areas. Create a sustainable future, Microsoft's sustainability goals include ambitious commitments and detailed plans to achieve them as well as helping others set and achieve their own climate goals. In March 2022, Microsoft announced its intent to build its fourth data center region in Hyderabad. This region will be built with sustainable design and operations in mind, a key example of Microsoft's climate commitment as it responsibly delivers reliable cloud services at scale. Earning trust, 
Microsoft recognizes that to drive positive impact with technology, people need to be able to trust the technologies they use and the companies behind them. One of the ways in which Microsoft is actioning this is through its role in the CyberSure at Chitbarat initiative which is the first public-private partnership leveraging the IT industry's expertise in cybersecurity. A founding partner, Microsoft has equipped more than 1,200 CISOs and frontline IT staff in state and central governments and public sector organizations, through cybersecurity awareness initiatives. Microsoft has partnered with India's digital transformation since 1990 when it began operations in India. Today, Microsoft India has offices in 11 cities where its 20,000 employees are the driving force behind its mission. Personifying collective action, over 50% of Microsoft India employees gave above 168 million Indian rupees to more than 260 non-profits in India. With more than 17,000 partner organizations employing 2.9 million people, Microsoft India has been able to effect change through its ecosystem. It has empowered more than 1 million developers across more than 100 cities amplifying impact and driving progress faster and farther. This is IBG News Golden Hour podcast news read by Arthur. News brought to you by South Asian Institute for Advanced Research and Development Kolkata, Shiliguri and others for quality GIS education. European Green Deal, analysis on main drivers of food security in the EU and worldwide. Today, the Commission published an analysis by Commission services on the main drivers affecting food security. It looks at the effects on food security of drivers such as climate change, environmental degradation, the economic consequences of COVID-19 and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Based on the latest scientific evidence, this analysis identifies different types of key drivers, biophysical and environmental, research, innovation, and technology, economy and market, food supply chain performance, political and institutional, socio-cultural, and demographic drivers. The analysis also looks at short and long-term horizons and linkages between them. Stakeholder views were collected through specific consultations and were taken into account in the analysis. The availability of food is not at stake in Europe today. The affordability of food is however a growing concern for an increasing number of low-income households. Availability, affordability, utilization and stability cannot be taken for granted. Some of the drivers may become risks for food security and expose vulnerabilities in our food system, if not properly addressed. The EU has launched many initiatives to secure a sustainable, inclusive, and resilient food system with a realistic timeline and necessary support instruments. This is IBG News Golden, our podcast news read by Mirai. News brought to you by Foxtail Eco Retreat Resort, Type Swore Wildlife Sanctuary. This is a small rustic eco-retreat at Sunnagate, Tipeshwar WLS in Maharashtra consisting of luxurious tents set in other backdrop of a dry deciduous jungle. Come here to experience the jungle in its elements. A home away from home in Mother Nature's lap with best of the services around hospitality. Visit www.foxtillicotreat.com India's top nutritionists and fitness experts set to help citizens chop their New Year fitness plan with Fit India's new talk show. Posted on 4th January 2023, 3.33 pm by PIB Delhi. Key Highlights Point The program starts from 8th January until 26th February 2023 on the official Instagram and YouTube handles of Fit India every Sunday at 11 am. Point the first series of eight talks have been titled Fit India Healthy Hindustan. Fit India Movement, a flagship program of the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports is set to launch a special online series titled Fit India Sunday Talks to mark the new year. The program, an online talk show by eminent fitness experts and Fit India icon starts from 8th January until 26th February. 2023 on the official Instagram and YouTube handles of Fit India, every Sunday at 11 am. 
The first series of eight talks have been titled Fit India Healthy Hindustan. In keeping with the vision of Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi to create a fit nation, the Fit India Sunday Talks aims to promote the importance of fitness, healthy eating and mental wellness among all age groups, especially senior citizens. The Fit India Healthy Hindustan panelists include Luke Cotineau, lifestyle expert, Ryan Fernando, Hina Bhimni, nutritionist, and Sangram Singh, wrestler motivational speaker. Speaking about the initiative, Sangram Singh said, the Fit India Healthy Hindustan program is a commendable initiative of the government and everyone should join this campaign and take benefit from it. According to me, the richest and most complete person in life is the one whose body is healthy. Through these talks, I will share some basic natural methods which people can easily adopt to stay fit at all ages. The importance of staying fit is greater for senior citizens so that they can fight age-related disease. Speaking about this Hina Bhimi says, aging is natural and cannot be prevented. But yes, with the right health strategies one can live a long, healthy and a happy life. Fit India Healthy Hindustan aims to give tips to senior citizens so that they live a healthy life with dignity. Small lifestyle changes can have a big impact. Nutritionist Ryan Fernando, who will be speaking on the importance of having the right amount of sleep to stay fit in his session, besides other aspects of overall well-being, adds, with the Fit India movement, citizens now have access to various health-related resources and guidance, which has enabled them to make informed decisions about their health. The Fit India Healthy Hindustan series is an attempt to further empower citizens with the right advice. There will also be a segment where the experts will be speaking on the importance of millets to celebrate 2023 as the International Year of Millets. IBG News team wishes all viewers and listeners a happy new year. This is IBG News Golden, our podcast.